Hey, welcome back. It's what, December 3rd? Uh, yeah. Do we, have this, do we have the same clothes on? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Are we, do we smell? Uh, no, maybe you, but I don't. Why Elves not? smell like candy cane perfume. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, so anyway, welcome back. This is December 3rd, but day two of our Maker Advent yep. calendar. And we're going to open up box number two here in just a second. Do you have box two handy? Um... All right. I think I do. All right. We're going to switch to the down facing camera and we're going to check out what we have in box two and see what else we can do next for fun here. So let's switch to the bench down and let's let people see you open that up. Okay. All right. Make sure people can see what we're doing here. Oh, here is the box. Make sure they can see it. You're kind of to the right. Sorry. <laughs> I oh. zoomed in a little bit. See right there? Watch this one too. If you want to, it might be easier. Yeah. And <laughs> so we're going to open the box. Okay. What do you have in there? So, right now we have, my dad can tell you. Let's see there, I believe, make sure you keep your stuff inside the camera there. You can put it down, they can see it. Put it down where they can, just keep it in the same place. <laughs> All right, so what we've got there, aha. So this day two, it says, let's get blinky. And I bet I know why. Let's open up that bag and take the stuff out of that bag. Does it all connect to like our yeah, well, last you'll, project? We will see. We will follow our directions and see what it says to do. Make well, sure folks can see. I know. Well, I'm glad Santa said that we should keep it, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. So well, pull mm -hmm. some stuff out there. Okay. So we've got, let's see what we have here. I think we've got, so these are just what I, I call them jumpers. Some people call them DuPont cables. I, I might call them DuPont sometimes too. But see all these little holes on the <laughs> breadboard? This lets you do things using those. And so, and this is again, like it's called a solderless purple because you can experiment without making it permanent and it's easy to try things and it's easy to correct mistakes and stuff like that. Can you tell me which ones these are? You're better at colors. One of these is supposed to be a red. Maybe we can't tell until they're lit up. Can you tell which one's a red LED? No. Man, how are we supposed to know? They're not red. They're all clear, aren't they? Yeah. But yeah, so it says one's a red LED with a clear lens. One's an amber LED with a clear lens. One is a green LED with a clear lens. And we've got three resistors here. Now, do you know what a resistor is? No. A resistor is kind of like, I think of it as something, it's like a little traffic cop. So if you have electricity that's like going from A to B between two points, if you put one of these in the way, it'll kind of make that not as much can't go through there. That's the easy way for me to think of that. You know, that's, that's how I think of that anyway. It's like a little traffic cop in there. It slows it down. It only allows so much to go through. Not as much as it would without it, right? I guess. And so we've got, yeah, so we've got LEDs. And we got, those are 330 ohms. So we've got three of those resistors. And we've got the four male connector cables there. So here's today's project. What's a LED? A yeah. LED is a light and emitting, emitting, emitting diode. diode. Come, um, come, I can't read it. Yep. These components emit light when electrical current flows through them. Our LEDs have two legs. Pick up one of those or show the people. Can you tell which one's longer and shorter? Like one leg should always be shorter. Oh. So, so the, the longer leg is oh, the positive wait. leg. The longer leg, so like. And what I'll do is I'll probably put a that, picture up so it'll yeah. be clear for them to understand. Yeah, you so, probably can't see it right so, now. And the shorter one is the cathode, it's the negative. And current always must flow from the anode to the cathode. So be sure to read our wiring instructions carefully to make sure you get this bit right. That's fine, we can do that. And usually LEDs require those resistors, they limit current. Like I said, it's like a traffic cop for the electricity, right? Resistors limit the amount of current that can pass through a circuit, which helps avoid LED trying to pull more current than the Pico GPIO pins can safely provide. That's, that's good, you gotta have this. So what is this again then? So it doesn't matter if the resistor is on one side or the other of the LED, as long as it's in the line. Okay. okay. So are you ready to get started? So I'm going to show you this real quick and I can, I'll overlay this on the screen while we're talking about this. See this little map here? Yeah. See how that looks like this? This map is showing you what these different pins are and what they mean. So we can refer to that if we need to. So we're going to make a circuit, but it says first thing we got to do is make sure the Pico is disconnected from the USB cable. So do you want me to disconnect that for us? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So we're going to disconnect this. Oh, man, that connector is rough right there, isn't it? Wow. Okay, and we're going to make the circuit look like this. Now, I'll go tell you real quick. <clears throat> so these, so here's the kind of neat thing about a breadboard. <clears throat> so like these rows are connected, but they don't connect up and down, right? 
on all these middle ones. But now on these outside ones where you have the blue and the red, those are connected up and down. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we just got to remember that. Now here's the circuit. Place the three LEDs in the lower section of the breadboard, okay? And make it so the longest leg is to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this, we're going to orient this just like Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit, but we got to remember if we're moving it, we got to keep it where people can see it, okay? okay. So we're going to move this over. So we're going to make, but we don't know what LED is which. Ah, uh, okay. It says it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're going to, maybe that's part of what we're going to do. Maybe when we figure out what light is what, we can move some things around. Okay. So where do we stick So we're going to, see how this looks like that right there? So, so the longest leg, so when you look at these LEDs, right, look at the longest leg. The longest leg is going to go to the right, this way, okay? Okay. So, just put one just like that. You see where that, make it look like, just like the picture. Let's see here. Okay, now 27 is going to be on the positive of the other one. Okay. This is kind of ugly and not in a perfect line, but I think it's fine. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, I got to do this last one. This is a ground wire, I believe. Is it? Yeah, ground pin 38. So 38 is this one right i believe and i'm going to put it over here that's blue so that connects all those together okay okay so what else is there okay so we're going to be back in thonny you can probably go in there and erase what we had we're going to have some code in here time module it's going to put little delays in your program so you can say wait for this much or wait for that okay okay whoa we got some a lot to type here Oh, so, the <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? We can either fast forward while you type this or we can use some cut and paste. What uh, do you think? How about fast forward? You want to type it then and we'll fast forward it? Yep. Okay, so and we're going to... we're going to fast see. forward. Let's switch over here. All right. Okay, so come on over here. So are you going to be able to type all that stuff? Yes, I'm the fastest typer in the world. Prove it. What? How did you do that? Logic. Huh. Okay. Cut and paste, I bet. Hey, I see those browser windows there. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, so hit the green arrow. Was it up there? That's weird. It's not up there, is it? Right there. Yeah, is it, it doesn't look like it's the right. Oh, you know why? We forgot to plug in our thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> yeah, it helps if you plug it in, right? Mm-hmm. So now... Let's see what happens here. Uh, we're going to let you go back and now see if the... Uh, hit that little red. Hold on. I'm going to come back over here to let you see that. Hold on. Now, sometimes you have to click that little red stop button. It'll make the thing... Re no, oh, that one. There you sorry. go. Now, it makes your green button show okay. up, right? So, hit that. Let's try it. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> hey. One, two, three... Four, oh, I think you five. did it too fast. So as soon as you hit the green button, start counting. Oh, okay. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, that's so, interesting, right? So let's it, go look at that program to see what it's doing. Let's look at that. It says red only one and one is for start, I guess? Yeah, Wake that, up? That's right. It turns it and on, then, turns yeah. it on. And then time to sleep. I guess that means like... Have those on means for five seconds, so and that's what I counted right, on. Right, so it basically turns them on, and then it says, don't do anything else for five seconds. Don't. So that means basically, if if you if I turn the switch on, and I say, hang out here for five seconds, then you're not going to turn them off. But then what happens immediately after you sleep for five seconds? You're you turning turn them to zero, off. so they turn off, right? Mm -hmm. So cool, I'm going to switch back. Let's, uh, let's do that one more time. That's kind of fun. All right. Three, two, one, hit the run button, and let's count again, see if it works like we think. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Boom! All right, pretty cool. All right, let's see what our next thing is that we're going to do. Okay, so that lit, lit them up. Now this is going to make them flash. Ooh, this is going to get a little, a little fancy. We're, we're going to do some loops, but this will help us finish today's project, okay? All right, we can do some cut and paste again. It's okay. It's a lot to type. So basically, you know how that thing said sleep? We're going to have, I'm going to show you, we're going to have little pockets of code that do things based on certain conditions, okay? So here's, but here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to make them flash 10 times and then stop. And this is also talking about what you can do. Now, there are ways to put comments in the programs, but we'll show you that in a second. So you like, right, you know, in the part where you turn them on, you can say, turn these on, sleep for five, turn these off. Just so folks who maybe aren't familiar with your program and how it works could see. So we're going to do that. Talks about variables. A variable is just somewhere you store a value, like a container. All right. Like a counter, something to keep track of a number for you if you want to keep adding to it, that kind of thing. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get this code ready for you and then we'll come look at it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So it's time to do this next part. It's going to be a little fancier. Are you telling me you still can do that uh, fast typing trick again? Oh my gosh. How could you ever doubt me? All right. Let's see what you got. We're going to see if these LEDs will do something else. What? All right. Let's see what you and have And you here. don't see anything that I know. makes you suspicious. All right. So we know that the pen thing, we know the time thing. The pen is like, you know, the stuff that's hidden from us that helps us work with those I in out pens, IO pens. Time has helps us work with that counting and stuff, right? So now see these little things it was talking about. If you do a little hashtag like this, look right here. It helps you put little notes in here. So now it kind of tells you what it does. So what's this part? What does this part, what is it going to do? What do you think I that means? I don't know. So that's set, set up our, our LED, set up our light names and our pin numbers, right? So we're saying red is pin 18, amber is pin 19, green is 20, okay? Now, well, this is the um, counter. Remember I said a variable, so we're setting, there's a counter. Like, you know, imagine like you had your hands and you're counting on your hands or something. So we're going to have a counter and we're going to set it to one. And now we're going to say what, and this right here, remember that like, you remember from school you did greater than or less than? Yeah. So now you're saying while counter is less than 11 you know it tells you right there too while count is less than 11 see how this is indented more right here so it's saying while that number is less than 11 do all this stuff over and over again okay so what it does is this watch this so it's going to print the counter number for us so we can see what it's set to and it's going to turn them all on then it's going to sleep for half a second not five but half see how it says 0.5 and then it's going to turn them off then it's going to wait again for half a second and then look it's going to add one to that counter and then it's going to come back to the top and it's going to do it all over again so it's going to go through and do that and then at the last time when it comes through the tenth time at the bottom it's going to make that 10 plus one is what 11. so when it's 11 what does that tell it up here it's going to break out of that right uh, so i bet if you hit this green Thing. We, I'm going to switch back to the down screen. You get ready to click that green and it's going to do that pattern we just said. So let me get ready over here. You hit the button. Okay. Let's watch these lights. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So it's only, see how it's doing like half a second, but it's how many times is it going to do it? And see now here, look. And when it gets to 10, it's going to stop because 11 is the last thing it's going to do. Right, you don't see Let's it print try that. It again. Okay. One, there you go. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See there? What? So what it does it ten times. So this can this is a little bit to get used to when you're learning how to program. So it start and sometimes people start at zero. That's kind of like a religious debate, but uh, you'll understand that when you're older. But we're starting with one, and so this is the first time, right? Yeah. And then we add one to it, which is two, and it does it again. So it's going to go through it. And on the 10th time, when the number is set to 10, it's going to come through. But right at the bottom of that, it's going to make it 11. And as soon as it makes it 11, that's why this up here says, you can do this stuff, but as soon as I turn to 11, quit. So right when it turns to 11, you never see it blink an 11th time because it's never going to run through that program part again. See what I'm saying? Mm. But now we can modify that. I'm going to probably go back and show the screen. And move that audio. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you something we can do. We're going to change a little bit here and we'll make it run forever and not just for 10. So up over there, so I'm, what I want you to do is you can also, I believe we can comment that out. So I'm going to show you a trick here. When you want to experiment with something without losing it, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to put a little thing in front of that, right? Which tells it to ignore that line. Okay. But then I'm going to put something right up under it. It's going to say while true. Okay. Okay. And then, well, maybe you know what? I think that might be case sensitive. Let me make that match here. All right. And then I'm going to put a little colon there. And so when you say while true, it's going to run for infinity, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get ready. I'm going to switch back to the down and let's see if it goes more than 10. That will be our test, right? Yeah. If it goes more than 10, that means that works. So let's count them together. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. one. Go. Count them. One, two, three, <laughs> Sorry. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh -oh. fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I'm going to stop you right there. It's going to go until we turn it off. Oh. It's kind of like infinity, like I said, right? Pretty neat. Oh yeah, I got something else I want you to try, okay? Yeah. You see how they're blinking that speed? Change, let's half it. Let's see if we can speed up our blinks. I want you to come over here and I want you to change these sleeps to say 0.25. That would be half of five. Uh, five. So what? put a little two in front of the five. So it'd be 0 0.25. I want you to see how that changes. You know how it was like, you never have that speed that you were counting? So make that two five. So that's half of that value. Now come down and let's do it for the other one too. It's down here at the bottom where it says 0.5. Put a make that 0.25 right there. Uh, where? Like that. Got it? Where? So now we've half those values. So let's see. That should make it blink faster, I think. Do you think it'll make it blink faster or Maybe. slower? Let's see. Let's hit run. Mining. Oh, All right, sorry. go for it. One, two, three. Is four, that faster? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so that's gonna that's blinking faster than before, right? Yeah. Now you want to try it even faster? Do let's change it to I want to stop it. Four point. Change it to point one. We're gonna change it to point one on each one of these guys, and people know what we're doing there. I'm not gonna show them this time. So these should blink even faster if we change those values to point one. Now hit run. See if it blinks even faster now. One, two, Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, that? eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pretty cool, huh? <sighs> All right, let's see what they want us to do next. You can hit stop on that. Okay. I think this is our last thing here today. Now we're going to make them um, flash in order. Okay. Um, How about that? So like instead of all at one time. Whoa, what did you do there? Oh, just stopped it. Interesting. You must have stopped it while they were on. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Anyway. So we're going to do some more speed typing, okay? Okay. And you still don't think I can do it. I bet you can. Let's see if you can do it again. Super speed typer. What? Let's look at this program, see what it looks like. So now, you remember, like, before it was, like, flashing them all at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at this. So it's some of it's a lot of it's the same, right? This one's going to be back to counting to 11. Did I... Let's see here. Okay, let me look here. Oh. Let's see, something's a little different here. Aha! Now I see what it's going to do. So look, and I don't know if we've got these in the right color slots or not, but see how it says this is red on uh -huh. and amber on. And then, the, okay, so that's cool. So what it does, see how, and I look at, see how the each group of three Mm -hmm. Look how only one of, so in each group section, only one of those has a one. Oh. So in the top one, only the first one has a one. And right? I see only And on the one. second one, the middle one has a one. And then on the last one, the bottom one has a one. Yeah. And it's sleeping for half a second in between. So, it's so like, what do you think that's going to do? It's going to uh, have one light's going to light up. 
and then the next light's gonna light up, and then the next light's gonna light up, and it's gonna start over okay, for 11 times. It? Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna switch this over to the desktop. Oops, sorry. Well, that's fine. We'll see what it's doing. Let's see. Look. What? Two, three, that's one, cool. Two, three, one, two, three. See how that's working like that? Yeah. So we have our group, and only one's got a one. And then we sleep for half a second, and then we go do the next thing. How about that? That's very neat. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it only does it for 11 times. So same thing. I bet if we change this to while true, I bet it'll go for infinity on it. Let's try it and see. Well, I'm not going to wait for infinity, but you know what I mean. Let's do true again. Let's see what happens. Whoop. All right. I'm going to do it. So it gets, let's see if it goes past 11 this time. It looks like it's working. That's pretty cool. Great. How about that? That's neat. Yeah. So let's see what else we have to talk about. So let me tell you, let's see here. So that's day two complete. It's the third day of December, but day two of this. Uh, you made a circuit with all these cool things we did on the bench here. You learned how to use the time module and you know, you saw how those values change like a, a small number when you're sleeping is a shorter amount of time for it to offer on, right? And variables, remember how we used our counter and how we can like, put notes in our program to help us remember what things do. And then we made a little sequence of lights. How about that? Pretty cool. So it says, don't take this apart. We're going to use it again on the next time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you for hanging out with us on our second day of the Advent. Hope you'll come back and hang out with us again. Remember, we're going to skip a day. So this will be, if today is December 3rd, that means that we're going to be doing the next one on what? December 5th? So if we did yes. first, third, fifth. So yeah, December 5th, we're going to do our third project here. So we hope to see you then. Take care. Hope you're having a great holiday. Bye-bye. <laughs>